So yesterday we reported on a story here about how uh, Democratic strategists are basically advising Joe Biden and trying to urge him of reasons, but probably the biggest one being to just the question of why you would even need to debate Donald Trump. Now, the more that I thought about it, I don't really think this is feasible. I think he's going to have to end up debating Donald Trump, but I don't think it's really going to be much of a problem. Um, it could be, but uh, considering the way he performed in his final debate against Bernie Sanders, um, I'm sure they'll give him whatever Adderall or whatever they gave him before the debate, and I'm sure he'll be just fine. Uh, but today there's a story in The Hill that reads, Trump campaign manager, we want more debates against Biden and sooner. This is President Trump's campaign manager said Monday that he wants, quote, more debates between the president and presumptive Democratic nominee Joe Biden, and he wants them to begin sooner rather than later. Uh, so he went on Fox and Friends, uh, and he has said his concern that the current debate schedule, which begins on September 29th, won't give early voters in several states a chance to see the two candidates go head-to-head -head before ballots are cast. Quote, we want more debates. We want debates starting sooner. Um, so the first debate is scheduled for September 29th. By that time, 16 states already will have voted by September 29th. That's a concern to me. I want to see President Trump on the debate stage against Joe Biden. So, uh, you know, the, a little bit more that I kind of thought about this yesterday, about the story from yesterday as well. Um, you know, I think it is kind of a dangerous precedent to just not debate your opponent. And just from a fairness perspective, I do think that it's it's pretty unfair and kind of cheap to just back out of the debates or to not have the debates. And I do agree with this guy. It is pretty unfair for voters for, you know, early voting to start before there's even been a debate between the two main candidates. I do think that's kind of unfair. Um, now, I don't remember the first date uh, for the debate last time around. I don't recall it. Um, but it could lead to being bad for Joe Biden or it could be just fine. Um, again, like I said, I still think the best strategy for Joe Biden in the now, when if you're just thinking about unseating Trump and just Biden's campaign, I think it would probably be for him winning, but to, to not do the debates. But I think he's going to have to do it simply for precedent reasons. And I just don't think it's a good precedent to set. And I think that it's really a, a, a kind of messed up one. And an unfair one, it is true that, yes, the voters do need to see the candidates go head-to-head -head, um, before early voting starts. And also the article goes on to basically state that um, there's concern about this, uh, you know, an increased concern because of the expected higher mail-in voting because of coronavirus. So uh, that's what's going on here. There seems to be a little bit of a battle going on with the debates. We still don't know who Joe Biden's vice president is going to be, which is kind of crazy. So we're still waiting on that announcement. It looks like it's going to be Kamala Harris, but we're not exactly sure. But uh, we'll, we will see how the debates end up actually panning out.